Hi, YouTube. How's everybody? It's Didi Blast, SoundCloud, the Black Madonna. Okay, um, I just wanted to um, get a little support <laughs> from YouTube. Uh, this is a big thing here. Uh, now, this morning, I'm going down uh, to renew uh, my restraining order. Um, I saw him. He is back here. He was in my yard standing. He wanted me to see him. So I did see him. Um, uh, now when they put him out, uh, in about May of last year, uh, they told me that, uh, he would never be returning to the project. So when I saw him and just the thought of him, it freaks me out, y'all. I threw up, I got sick, you know, so, um, the, uh, restraining order ends today. So I'm going back down uh, to the courthouse uh, to have it renewed. Um, um, uh, management, um, also is, is, uh, treating me unfair, um, I showed you evidence of that. Okay, uh, so I just wanted to let you know that I told the management uh, that if they keep harassing me, uh, that I'm going to call the police on them. And I will, and I am. Uh, you know, because, um, you know, when I first moved in here in 2016, you know, we, uh, they were rats. The basement was leaking. So what they do is they, I, I think they fix it. They come with this water thing, like, at least four times uh, when I, uh, well, actually, someone else had complained about it. And uh, so they came into my house to see and you know, my basement was leaking. Now, sometimes when someone else's basement is leaking, it doesn't mean mine is going to leak. Now, when it leaks, it leaks like when you have heavy, heavy rain. And then, you know how like in your house, when like I clean my walls. So, you know how you in your house, like you, you know how coffee looks when it's thrown against the wall? Okay, well, that's seeping down uh, from the ceiling. Uh, in my house, I clean my walls, and anybody can tell you that. Anyone that knows me knows that I'm a neat freak, and I've gotten a little better over the years. You know, I kind of let this, you know, throw my throw my sweater over here, you know, <laughs> just for you know. But I, I'm not a lazy woman, you know. I have to get up. I have to clean. I like to clean. I like to cook. I like to clean. Oh, my my new um a mate. Oh, my new mate is gonna be so pleased with me. I look really good. I feel really good. You know, I'm not fat. You know, I feel good about myself, and, and I feel good about my children. I feel good about my life other than the stalker and then the management. Uh, they're only choosing them just to uh, use them to uh, destroy me. They ain't thinking about them. And plus, they have a case against the office themselves. Yeah, the stalker people. Um, so I'm not sure, you know, what the deal is as far as, you know, what their intentions are. The only thing I can, the intention I think it is, is to beat me up, catch me. They told me they're going to, when they catch me outside, they're going to whip my ass. Uh, they're going to kill me. You know, all of that, you know, and the, 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 the silly dilly, uh, Kathy, the silly dilly whore who cheats on her husband. Uh, like, you don't know me from Adam, so why are you telling me that? All right, uh, we're here to do business. I need you to write a letter to those people to have all of those people in that apartment to leave me alone. All. Oh, everybody because they're all doing it while he was gone they were still doing it now he's back it's like you know his signature you know what i mean when you're being stalked like that all right so wish me luck i'm gonna get out of here i'm already dressed uh i just have to uh but you know, put on some lipstick or something and uh and run right out the door okay so i just wanted to uh, you guys to please uh Pray for me. Um, uh, let's hope uh, that they renew the restraining order. And uh, let's hope uh, that the court system can see uh, that I'm being singled out. Uh, they're not, they're cleaning. The whole project is so clean. Y'all should have... I showed y'all my yard. Okay, so... Um, my basement isn't leaking right now. The last time they came, they had a lot of, um, they had like a machine that you can get up a lot. You can get water up. They had to dump it four times uh, before the water and then go back down and get more. So they, you know what I mean? So, uh, you know, the way they treat people, they need to be ashamed because y'all not doing the grounds or properly. Y'all not handling people's cases properly. You know, you're not uh, dealing with people in, in different races. When you work somewhere and you go somewhere and it's professional, you're going to see a black person. You're going to see a white person, you're going to see a Puerto Rican person, you're going to see a Dominican person, and you're going to see a Jamaican person, or a Japanese or Chinese. You understand? So, I mean, you have to live amongst one another. That's civil. You have to respect one another. You know, that's the proper thing to do. Um, you know, and I have no idea who these people are, but I know uh, that they know me, the girl next door, because she brought a friend over that I had a problem with, uh, 
way back uh, and uh, it was involving police and the same thing picking and all that um standing in the house minding my business and so it was like six big big weather girls you know the big weather girls they picked about three or four of them uh, that was on me so anyway one of those girls came over with her the, the bald-headed girl with the hair like floyd mayweather i believe god took her hair away because she's been fucking with me i believe that i'm so spiritual but she brought her over so i was leaving to go to the store again now this side tried to sneak me and i'm looking you know okay so i'm walking you know what well, do what y'all gonna do and then recently uh the, the neighbors uh, i was leaving uh, to go to the store and they were um you know, ready to sneak me. Same, same thing. And I turned around and looked at their asses. They went their asses back in the fucking house. You know, do you really want this bitch? Do you feel lucky today? And and that's how, like, it, it makes me feel. And I don't want to feel like that. Do you understand? I'm looking for peace, y'all. I'm not looking for no drama, no problems. I don't want to get involved with anything to do with drama, problems. That's why I, I, I moved. And that's why I separated myself from all of my negative friends. All of my Mizzy friends, because you're not going to make Dee Dee miserable. I'm very happy inside. If you're happy inside, huh, no one can touch you. No one can touch you if you are happy inside. And you must feel good about life. Stand tall, ladies. You got some bitches and some professional women uh, uh, harassing you, bothering you. Handle it. Handle it, and you have to handle it. You do. And always know that you're special, because if you're special, I showed y'all how big this project, I I don't know anybody here, and I was told that the entire project hates me. That's what I was told, okay? Uh, and I, I, I was told, um, you know, that uh, they're going to be kicking my ass when they catch me outside. Now, that was a month or two ago, so I've been in and out. Uh, I just was sitting on my porch, you know, I don't know. But um, uh, like I said, I'm not scared of anyone in that apartment except Jeffrey because Jeffrey is a sexual predator. He bought me some fruits uh, with the uh, fruit chocolates, and I didn't ask him to do that. I, I told him that before he bought those fruits, I told him that I was just divorced. I'm ele- a celibate eight years. I am not looking for a man at all, none whatsoever at this time. But I will be your friend. So he would trick me. Oh, okay. So what's up? How you doing today? Yeah, you don't want me. It always goes back to the same thing. You don't want me. Huh, you don't want me. And he came to my door with fifty dollars, y'all. Like I'm supposed to. Oh, fifty dollars. Huh? You know. You know. You know. You know. And then uh, so while I was eating the chocolates, uh, he just came in my house. He walked in, and I was eating the fruits, and he lift my arm up. And he, and you know how much those fruits cost, don't you? And hump, hump, hump. He humped me. So I grabbed him by the throat and put him out of my goddamn house. All right, so, okay, so a little time passed. So I told him, look, stop knocking on my door every day. When I say friends with you, what I mean is if you um got some sugar and I need some sugar for my coffee, that's what I mean by friendship. Me and you going places and doing all, no. No. I tell him every time. So I was playing the brain game. I was playing uh, the the brain game. And, um, uh, you know, so he, again, walked in my house, y'all. And I'm playing the brain game. I like to play the brain game before I uh, tackle my house. You know, it kind of relaxes me before I tackle my house. You know, the laundry, you know, mopping the floors and everything, dusting. You know, all of that. Wash the walls and things like that, you know. All right. Uh, okay, so uh, uh, I don't want to be bothered with this man, y'all. And uh, I can't believe I'm being mistreated by his family. I can't believe I'm being mistreated by the office. I'm blown away. I'm the one that's scared to death that this man going to rape me. I am, and you know, um, you know, you know how much those fruits cost? Forty six dollars. It's gonna take more than some forty six dollars to put your fucking hands on me. So because I won't go out with him, uh, he he tells uh, now I, when we moved in, this is the same two times that he came. We had shit everywhere. We didn't have any, we, we didn't have our furniture or anything like that. Uh, you know, we just had what we had. And uh, so I rebuilt the house. And I'm very happy and proud of it. Okay, but, you know, um, uh, uh, I don't know, y'all. 
I don't know. Wish me luck today. I'm going back down to the courthouse right now. I'm just gonna put my shoes on and put some lipstick on. And so we're gonna to try to get it renewed. Uh, um, I'm going to do something about management in court as well. I, I, I have them in my package and how I'm being treated by management and uh, everything. Uh, when I moved in November uh, 1st, uh, the 13th, he started with the fruits. But uh, at in between that time, before November, uh, I already told him I didn't want your ass. So that's when the trash in the yard started. Let me tell you something. What I showed y'all the other day, huh? That was nothing compared to how my yard has been. It it was so bad that it was like a a, a Christmas tree um decorated. I'm not lying. It was a Christmas tree decorated. 2017 maintenance has been um, um has been um ordered uh, by instructed by the people uh, uh to come uh you know and uh, you know clean uh, the trash out of my yard because someone's throwing trash in my yard and I'm, I've been saying it. So for 2017, they let maintenance clean the trash out the yard. They know that it's not me. All right. So, um, okay. Now it's 2019. Um, um, you know, and it's not, it's not the same, you know, they're not cleaning my yard. Uh, they're throwing trash in my yard. They're, you know, uh, after they cleaned it the other day, you know, somebody threw something on there. Uh, but anyway, they got it, I guess, because I don't see it this morning. But it's very sad the way I'm being treated. Uh, the girl uh, with the ball head, she's been wearing a wig. Since I've been here, God took her hair from her because of the way she's treating me. Be spiritual, people. God is something else, honey. He has a wrath. I'm one of his children. I'm special. So he not going to let you fuck with me for too much longer. He not. Okay, and then the people over the girl, um, with the Bob the Builder girl with the bald head like Floyd Mayweather and the flat ass and long arms and legs, look, you know, look like a man. Um, uh, you know, she jealous of me because I got a big booty. I'm educated. I got my music going. I got, you know, a lot of things going. I'm a very excitable woman. So I'm always doing something, you know, and I'm not sitting back just, you know, ain't brush my teeth or wash my face or wash my ass in years. And I'm just, you know, don't care. You know, that's her. Even if she has a job, that's her. Because why are you bothering a woman that you don't know? You have people that have uh, that know me, but you don't know me, bitch. And I haven't done it. I shook her hand. Uh, I can't believe it. I shook her hand, y'all. Uh, uh, thank you, uh, uh, you know, for welcoming me to the neighborhood. And then and, and so, and as soon as she get in the house, she do her thing, you know. And I, I just, oh my God, y'all, please tell me that this y'all got a, a solution. Put some comments down there for me. One lady told me, make sure I make copies of all papers I give them, and I do. Great advice, but I do do that already. But I can tell she's on the ball. You know, but you guys can comment, uh, you know, on, on this whole thing, you know, and all of this, y'all, after the whirlwind is winded, all of this is because Jeffrey. I don't want him, y'all. He's not attracted to me. I like him as black as my boots. If you ain't as black as my purse or black as my boot and as black as my furniture, motherfucker, I'm not interested. Period. And I said that too. I always say, look, I don't want you. Why are you doing all of this and all of this going on? I don't want you. And then he continues. He, and then when he followed me to the store, y'all, I was with my son. He jumped in front of us and went and turned around, boom, and wanted me to see his face. He wanted me to see that it was him twice. Now, my first thing was to throw my hot coffee on him. It's a stick over there that I've been looking at, and I whoop his ass with it. If the courts don't help me today, it's on and popping. Y'all, Didi going to be in jail. Y'all going to be wondering where Didi Blast at. You know, even my haters is going to be wondering where I'm at, you know. All right, uh, so let me get out of here. I just wanted to give you guys a, a heads up on what I'm dealing with. So I'm going to bring up management in court today, too. Uh, you know, I'm going to try to subpoena uh, all of the uh, two people in the management office and subpoena a few people, a few cops as well. All right, uh, so wish me luck on my court case, okay? I usually win. Uh, so let's continue to strike. I want to win again on my own attorney. I studied law, business. Uh, I studied paralegal. I studied professional office assistant. I'm on. I'm all set. And I've been manager of department stores. You know, I'm not a dummy. All right? I'm reasonably educated. Okay? All right. So uh, get, uh, uh, thanks for your support, uh, YouTube. Everybody wish me well, okay? Because I'm leaving now to go to court. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you so much. All right? Bye.